Hi, Mom. Or whoever else might watch this. Just a video of, uh, I wanted to make a quick video. I'll see how quick it is. Of the uh, aquarium. Um, basically what I do to do a water change on this thing. It's really easy. Well, as easy as I can make it. Uh, since this tank's up against the wall. Um, I've got a hose that goes through the wall for water changes. I'll give you a quick tour. This is the setup in here. Let's go back up so you can see it. It was hard to make this quick, but um, there's the tank. Basic, uh, not running filter socks, but sometimes we run filter socks in there. And the protein skimmer there. We empty that cup. I try to do it about once a week. It's been a, I've been running it kind of wet. It's a few days now. Um, and then we have a refugium over here full of algae. The lights are off. 20 gallon tank. It's got full of snails and brittle starfish and copepods and amphipods and stuff. In there. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, and then over here is the uh, little control board with the uh, things that we change now and then, the settings. Uh, and inside is where all the junk is and spaghetti and uh, computer controller and stuff in there. Anyway, let's run out to the garage. <clears throat> Swing around here, run through the house. Yeah, okay, and on the other side of the wall, we have a, a hose that comes through for the water change. It's back in there, comes out. I use this pump, transfer pump, pump water out of the tank into one barrel and uh, then pump in. I'm doing a really big one this time. I'm doing 40 gallons. Sometimes I do 20. Uh, I'm trying to get things clean, cleaner in there. And then the water actually is filtered. Comes in off a tee off the water heater. <coughs> and then goes through a five-stage filter, which gets a sediment filter there. Two carbon filters. And a RO filter that's pressurized with a booster pump. And then we always check kind of what that's doing. We're getting 14 TDS, that's total dissolved solids out of, which starts at like two or 300. And we're getting it down to zero coming after the uh, deionization beads here. That goes into this tank. And we use this for top off water for evaporation. And also uh, night a dosing pump runs there. That pumps a calcium hydroxide a calc stirrer there. It's actually stirring right now. It runs periodically to stir up the solution on the bottom. That's the, all this powder that gets put in there to supplement for calcium and a little bit of magnesium and strontium. And then this is the water we're mixing right now, almost ready at the temperature and salinity. We're running there for a day. A couple of pumps on the bottom to swirl it up and we add a synthetic salt to that uh, filtered water. That's the junk in the garage. There it all is. It is kind of a mad scientist lab, I guess. What a mess.